so in this video we will derive the volumetric strain in the thin cylinders okay so in the last video we derived the circumferential uh, strain and uh, the longitudinal strain in the thin cylinders whatever the strain developed in the circumference and the strain developed in the length these two we derived now overall volume total volume change of the thin cylinder how much is there that that we will derive in this video here okay for as we know that the the volumetric strain the strain the volumetric strain is change in volume divided by original volume right the total change in volume how much is there with respect to, to, to uh, the uh, original volume this is one so from this equation we have to find out the what is the change in volume here okay for that first we will uh, if 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 you uh, to calculate the change in volume divided by original volume we will go with the actual volume first first we will write the uh, actual volume equation what is the actual volume equation here v equal to the area into length here right area into length area is pi into d square by 4 the cylinder area is pi into d square by 4 into length here that is length this is the uh, original volume now if i want the dou v by v dou v by v what should I do for this equation to this equation here? I have to partially uh, the, uh, de uh, derive here, okay? Partial derivation here, okay? So now dou v, just partial derive the above equation that is dou v equal to you have two variables here well, first you have to keep it one constant and uh, partial derive other other variable and in one more time the just keep it one more uh, the variable and uh, derive the partial derive the one more the this variable here okay how that is first i'll keep it this one as constant pi into d square by 4 into do l plus pi by 4 into L, I will keep it this one as the constant, this one as the constant and uh, derive, partial derive this one here, 2D, 2D into dou D, right, 2D into dou D, this is how you will get after partial uh, derivation here, okay, so now, so to this equation, I want the uh, or total volume divided by original volume, right, this equation, if divided by original volume means, how much I have to divide throughout the equation that is uh, volume that is pi d square by 4 into l divide throughout the equation by pi d square by 4 into l right so now i am dividing divide by pi d square by 4 into l throughout the equation throughout the equation here okay now i will uh, i will divide this equation here that is how we will get dou v divided by pi d square by 4 into l equal to pi d square by 4 into dou l divided by pi d square by 4 into l plus pi by 4 into L into 2D into dou D divided by pi D square by 4 into L into L. This is how you are dividing throughout the equation here. Now cancels any, this is how, uh, this will be equal to how it will get dou V. Can I write this one as original volume? Because area into length, that is original volume equal to pi by 4 d square pi by 4 d square cancels here into uh, the uh, this one here and now what is the remaining dou l divided by l okay plus this pi by 4 this pi by 4 cancels here 1 d here d cancels here and length cancels right 2 times dou d divided by d right 2 times dou d divided by d here. This is after simplification here. Now, can I write this one here? 
further simplification this is do do v divided by v equal to uh, what is the change in length divided by original length of the uh, cylinder here that is strain in the uh, longitudinal direction or along the length right can i replace this one is strain along the length here or longitudinal direction i can replace this one plus two times the circumference circumferential change in the diameter uh, with respect to two original diameter so this we derived in the previous uh, video okay you can check it here so i can write this one as strain along the circumference strain along the circumference so this can i call it as change in volume divided by original volume is what is that the volumetric strain how much total volume change with respect to two original volume is volumetric strain this also i can call it as the uh, volumetric strain this i can replace like this right so you have to remember this one here so volumetric strain is one time the longitudinal strain plus two times the circumferential strain these two will added equal to total volumetric strain here okay so because the volume the strain, the circumference is smaller and the longitudinal strain is bigger so longitudinal strain one time plus two times the circumferential strain if you do this one then you will get the total volumetric strain here now for the simplification now i want the total change in volume now this is the volumetric strain now i want the only volume change how much is there uh, due to these two the uh, longitudinal strain and the circumferential strain right so now how we'll write here the i want only total volume change that is that is the change in volume equal to the uh, longitudinal strain plus two times the circumferential strain into total volume can i write like this this i just multiply here okay now substitute we already in the previous video we uh, we derived what is the longitudinal strain in terms of the longitudinal stress and the circumferential stress and substitute again what what is the circumferential circumferential strain in terms of in terms of the circumferential uh, uh, stress and the uh, poisson's ratio right we derived in the previous video just check it now i'll substitute these two uh, values we know that uh circumferential strain equal to what is that pd by 2t into e into 1 minus nu divided by 2 uh, nu divided by 2 right this is the previous video uh, the equation similarly longitudinal strain equal to pd by 4t into e into 1 minus 2 nu when nu is the poisson's ratio e is the young's modulus okay and d is the di internal diameter of the uh, cylinder and p is the pressure of the fluid t is the thickness this we derived in the previous uh, video here substitute these two values in this equation in this equation now further continuation how how will uh, substitute here Th therefore the volume change that is change in volume equal to uh, first i'll just uh, uh, multiply these two v into the longitudinal strain plus two times uh, v into the circumferential strain okay now substitute v longitudinal strain is how much is there that is pd by pd by 4te into 1 minus 2 nu right this is this one plus 2v into now the what is the circumferential strain here circumferential strain is pd by 2te into 1 minus nu by 2 okay now simplify this one and uh, after just simplify here vpd by 4te right this one minus again just make it here vpd by 4te into into 2 two times new right into 2 times new this is one now come to here plus 2 vpd divided by 2e if you make multiply by 1 that is 2 uh, 2v that is pd 
डिवाइडेड बाय टू टी ई राइट अगेन नेक्स्ट दिस इज माइनस टू वी पी डी डिवाइडेड बाय टू टी ई मल्टीप्लाई बाय न्यू बाय टू मल्टीप्लाई बाय न्यू बाय टू दिस इज द सिंप्लीफिकेशन ऑफ दिस वन इज दिस इयर ओके नाउ अगेन फर्दर सिंप्लीफाई इयर फर्दर सिंप्लीफाई एंड दैट इज फर्दर सिंप्लीफिकेशन यू विल गेट जस्ट रिमूव पी डी बाय फोर टी ई इन टू वी आउटसाइड दैट इज चेंज इन वॉल्यूम इक्वल टू पी डी बाय फोर टी ई इंटू वी रिमूव दिस वन आउटसाइड वॉट वी विल गेट वन दिस इज वन ओके वी पी डी डिवाइड बाई फोर टी ई वन माइनस टू न्यू वी पी डी डिवाइड बाई फोर टी ई वन माइनस टू न्यू दैट इज टू न्यू वॉट वील गेट अगेन प्लस वी पी डी बाई फोर टी ई हाउ मच वील गेट हियर दैट इज द रिमेनिंग इज प्लस वन ओके नेक्स्ट हाउ मच वील गेट हियर प्लस वन नेक्स्ट वील गेट हियर माइनस टू टू न्यू माइनस टू न्यू ओके दिस इज वी पी दिस इज फोर टी ई राइट ओके सो दिस वी विल गेट नाउ अगेन सिंप्लीफाई हियर पी डी वी दट इज द पी डी डिवाइड बाय पी डी डिवाइड बाई फोर टी ई इन टू वी सो हाउ मच वील गेट हियर दट इज फाइव माइनस फोर यू दट इज दिस विल बी वील गेट हियर फोर दिस विल गेट हियर फोर uh that is 5 minus 4 new okay so this is change in volume here so finally the change in volume is this much here the how about the previous uh, we did it here so, so we have to remember the two equations one is this one and one more is that is volumetric strain change in volume divided by original volume that will be equal to volumetric strain that will be equal to how much in terms of the uh, circumferential strain in the longitudinal strain two times circumferential strain and plus the longitudinal strain this is also if you remember this equation uh, this is enough we, we can we, while solving the problems here we know that what is circumferential strain and what is the longitudinal strain only this is the simplification and further final after simplify we will get this one here but If you remember this equation, it is enough while solving the problem here. Uh, we know that this strain, what is the this strain, and uh, from that we can calculate the total change in volume here. Okay, so so this is how the total volume change uh, in uh, the of the thin cylinders. Okay, as of now we cal we we calculated strain in x strain in longitudinal direction, strain in uh, the circumferential direction, and total volumetric strain here. Okay.